<laughs> Not surprising. They Not put, surprising. In the they slightest. they just put instead of like someone's saliva or whatever, they put coke on the on the thing and it tested positive. Um, <laughs> apparently, this test they're using is it's very it's not a good test, and it no. it's it tests positive for all kinds of shit. Like it's a it's a generic test. It's not like a COVID test. It's a it's a standardized sort of virus test, and it just tests positive yeah. for everything. Apparently, that's one yeah. of the things i've heard so that's cool that's good to know <laughs> um <laughs> a u.s congressman michael f farley he died in 1921 as a result of shaving not because he cut himself necessarily but because the shaving brush was infected with anthrax that's awesome i don't know where where did he, what is it i don't even know what anthrax is is it natural? What is anthrax? Oh, I believe anthrax is a natural occurring thing. It sucks. I don't know. It is, a, well, were, it is a bacterium. Remember, people were mailing it to the White House and shit. That was all. That was our. That was the COVID of the time. Was like, anthrax? Anthrax is gonna get you. Don't touch yeah. your mail. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Um, it's found naturally in soil and commonly affects domestic and wild animals. Yeah. Yep. I can see that, but that's weird. I don't know. I would suck to die of something like that. Yes, it would. But how did someone did that on purpose is your, your shaving brush doesn't just become infected with shit. It was 1921. You never know. Yeah. But anthrax, that's pretty random. It doesn't just grow on shit. No, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he was shaving in the garden. I don't know. Yeah, but you never know back then. Probably maybe it was a wooden yeah. brush. <laughs> they all had wooden teeth and shit. Maybe like I bet you it's something like like what like a fucking horse had like just died, so he just like took some of the hair and then stuck it in a fucking brush. Saying, oh good, I got a new shaving brush with the horse hair, and realizing that it was rubbed into a fucking anthrax patch of fucking dirt. Yeah, you never know. I don't know. I don't know how anthrax... I've never... That scares me that it's in dirt. <laughs> I've never um, looked into anthrax before. I just never cared. Yeah. This is one yeah. of those things I'm like, oh, okay, that's a thing. It's a band that I don't like as much as everybody else does. <laughs> um, this next one is pretty awesome. Uh, 1923. Jockey Frank Hayes won a race at Belmont Park in New York despite being dead. Oh, cool. So he suffered a heart attack mid-race, but his body stayed on the saddle until the horse crossed the line for a 20-to-1 outsider victory. That's pretty awesome. I always throw a couple of bucks on every long shot, so. Yeah. And they would count that. I don't think dying stops you, disqualifies you. you As long as the the rider's on the horse. Yeah, as long as the rider is on the horse, it's all that matters. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds like a white guy name, too. You don't hear that in jockeys very often anymore. Yeah. It's all Fuentes. And they're all little Mexican dudes. <laughs> little Mexican guys. Um, Robert Williams. He was a Ford assembly line worker. Uh-oh. He is the first human in history to have been killed by a robot. Oh, that's kind of uh, terrifying. Yep, he was hit by by a robot arm in 1979. That is horrible. <laughs> um, they terrify me, and that sucks that that long ago they were already starting to wage war on us. <laughs> I've seen those things move, and they move real fast. So, yeah, you get close to one of that thing, it will not take much to knock your fucking block off. That's yeah, those the, the car factory robots, they're terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I had to work. Uh, I had to do, uh, change a conveyor belt inside of one of the rooms uh, where one of those things are. I was freaked out the entire time because all I'm thinking is all it takes is one safety switch to not work. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So I was right freaked out about it, but luckily I never got killed by it. So I, was right. I guarantee I'll be killed by a robot one day. Um, it won't be now. Now it'll try to protect me, but... <laughs> Um, this next one, Eric, this is, I just say, thank God, 
Um, the owner of the company that makes segways. That's so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the owner of the company that makes segways. He died in 2010. Yes, he did. We How talked you about him. Yeah, he died after he accidentally drove his Segway off of a cliff. I still maintain <laughs> it was not an accident. That was a grand yeah. suicide. I guarantee it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> like as if the company this thing is wasn't... great. Look how well it turns corners. Wait. <laughs> as if the company wasn't doing bad enough. Right. Because nobody liked the damn things and they were stupid looking. You looked like a jackass on them. I never got to try one, but I always wanted to. Yeah, I kind of always did too. But that was pretty much the, the last I never did. the last nail in the coffin was uh <laughs> him driving his off the cliff. <laughs> like what are you doing driving that thing close to a cliff for anyways? Like <laughs> Yeah, I, I it's not really something like it's not I wouldn't take it hiking. No, exactly. Like, what are you trying to go off roading with? I'm gonna fucking climb Everest with this thing. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh, maybe he just that. believed in it that much. I don't think he did. I think he went up there with the full intention of driving it off the road. <laughs> um, I don't know how to pronounce this guy. Uh, Sigurd the Mighty. Sigurd. A ninth. Sigurd. I like that. Um, a ninth century Norse. Earl of Ork Orkney. Sure. Um he was killed by an enemy he had beheaded several hours earlier. No. Oh, so what had happened was he tied the man's head to his horse's saddle, but while riding, one of its protruding teeth grazed his leg and he died from an infection from it. <laughs> That's stupid. And I don't know if it's <laughs> I don't know if it's true. I don't care. That's just awesome. <laughs> that's, um, that's, there's karma. That's karma. Like, I don't know. That's just like, <laughs> that's kind of, that's too, um, uh, gangs of New York for me. <laughs> so good. I had my enemy's fucking head with me and bastard bit me on my ride home. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, Monica Mayer, she, ironically enough, so Monica Mayer was the mayor of Betterton, Maryland. She was the mayor? Uh, you, she you, was the mayor. You, you voted mayor for mayor? You voted mayor for mayor, yeah. Vote mayor. Who? It's mayor. the obvious choice. We are voting mayor. <laughs> like, that's how she won. They didn't know they were voting for her. They were just checking mayor. Like, yep, yeah. <laughs> we're voting for the mayor. That's luck. Well, she died checking her town's sewage tanks, where she fell in and drowned in 15 feet of human waste. That's awesome. Oh, that is a shitty way to go. That's just, I wouldn't even, like, you would, I would, uh, like, uh, I would have a heart attack from being disgusted. <laughs> yeah. Like, before I, before I drown in shit. Oh, could you imagine that first mouthful? Oh. No. Oh. oh, man. Oh, it's so gross. So unbelievably gross. That's just, oh. <laughs> well, I speaking can, of mares, uh... <laughs> I have another one for you. This is great. In 2007, the deputy mayor of Delhi... Surrender Singh Bajwa uh, died falling off of a balcony while trying to fend off a troop of attacking monkeys. Yeah, you got to be <laughs> careful. A troop. <laughs> they were a troop. They were organized, like were many, they? How many monkeys does it take to be a troop? <laughs> I don't know, but what did you do it's to make the monkeys bad. attack you? That's actually not a bad question. <laughs> like... Mon I don't think monkeys just randomly form a troop and attack people. <laughs> I don't know that for sure, but I've never heard of it. So you, you did something to them. 
It's just so funny. That's funny. I just, it's not funny. It's actually terrifying because what would crazy monkeys do? Like, that's scary. They would just tear you to shreds. Yeah. Yeah, they would. The weird thing is, is the definition of a troupe, T R O U P E, is a group of dancers, actors, or other entertainers who tour to different venues. Well, they that's probably what the monkeys did after. <laughs> so they were entertaining monkeys? I don't know about this. Yeah, maybe he weird. didn't pay them. <laughs> maybe. That's see, I bet that's what it was. They're trying to get the paycheck and he said, No, fuck you, you're a monkey, you're not getting any money. There you go. And and <laughs> look where that gets you. Don't fuck with the monkeys. That's right. <laughs> Uh, we have a Canadian on the list. Shut up. We have a Canadian. Yes, we do. Well, shut up. Um, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> just... <laughs> you won't shut up. Sorry. It's like the longest bad gag ever. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't even funny. I don't even know what that was. It wasn't funny. It's just some kids <laughs> singing about monkeys. Um, Canadian lawyer Gary Hoy died while trying to prove that the glass in the windows of a 24th floor office were unbreakable by throwing himself against it. That's a very well, good idea. Well, he was right. It didn't break, but it did pop out of its frame and he plunged, plunged to his death. That's and Surprise, motherfucker. Um... <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-four stories. That's enough to. Uh, that's enough to know what happened. Yeah, there's a lot of thoughts going through your head on that one. <laughs> Wham! Oh <Yeah>. fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Sorry. So just just so you know, we are on the last two of this list. Okay. I mean, we went through. <laughs> Um, Clement Vallandigham, a 19th century U.S. lawyer, accidentally shot himself dead while defending a murder suspect because he was trying to demonstrate that a supposed victim could have accidentally shot himself dead. Yeah. It worked. And the good thing is it worked because his client was a, was acquitted because of it. <laughs> he, he could have accidentally shot himself just like this. Bam. Just like that. Right. See? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> right, Peter Griffin, love it. Okay, this next one, I have no idea. I need to know more about this next one because this is just awesome. Brazilian Joe Maria de Souza was killed in 2013. So this is very recent. When a cow fell through his roof. And on to him while he slept. That sucks. And it's awesome <laughs> and terrifying. Um, I need to... Oh, this is gay. I can't actually read the article because I have to sign up for it. I'm not, I love I'm that. Just not doing that. Um, there you go. That would suck. Like it probably was it like a maybe a tornado dropped it or something, or it fell out of a plane. <laughs> yeah, it was flying with Orville Wright and fucking. Oh, um, here I got the thing right here. Here we go. And it just missed his wife. I know that much. Maybe. The one-ton cow was grazing on a hill behind the, the small house. When it stepped onto the asbestos roof, which collapsed under its weight, so so the it kills the cow, and I'm assuming his wife died of fucking asbestos fucking poisoning. Oh, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's not. That sucks. Like what? It's yeah. like you're just sitting there, like enjoying the game, whatever, having a beer. All of a sudden, a fucking it's cow a falls on you. Like, yeah. what are you doing? You can't even get mad at anybody for that. It's like a fucking no. 
that's when you hope there is no afterlife. Like, you don't want to be go through the rest of eternity. Like, so how'd you die off? Fucking.